Increase the efficacy of your copper spray in the fight against bacterial blight with Antero EA. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from Millersburg, Oregon. Uh, we just had a, a wonderful summer hazelnut tour here with the Nut Grower Society. I'm here with Paul Cooney. He's from Creekside Valley Farms in a pr pretty recently established orchard. You know, one of the challenges in, in hazelnut production, especially, you know, from the get-go, is, is bacterial blight for some of these young trees. And I wanted to talk with you about how you you know, prevented that, but also in the cases that you did get some bacterial blight, how did you manage it? Well, we put copper sprays on in the fall, and then we inspect the trees, and we have tree covers on, so if, if a tree has got infected, we can go ahead and cut it down, and then we leave one of the suckers to take over, and uh, that's what we've done on a few trees out at this location. It's worked great. How do you identify, for those that don't quite understand what, what that might be, because there's a lot of new hazelnut growers coming in that have never, right. you know, ever done this before. Right. So typically, uh, you'll see, if you catch it early, you'll see it on the bark of the tree. It's not like eastern filbert blight, but you'll just see some scars on the, the bark of the tree. If you don't notice at that point, you should notice it the next spring when the trees try and wake up. You'll see yellow in the leaves and poor growth, and that's a very good sign. Typically, you're going to see this in any low or wet areas of your farm. Now, once you get bacterial blight, is there a way of just pruning it a little bit and doing that, or you know, or do you have to start over, like I said, with this with a new sucker? We found that just starting over is the way to go to get. A, you're looking at this long term. You want these orchards to produce for you good for years. Trying to nurse along a weak tree just doesn't seem like the way to go for a long term deal. And with this this new orchard that you have, it's uh, can you tell us the the acreage on this, and if you know a percentage of how much bacterial blight you had to deal with, just to give growers an idea of what they might face. Yeah, this is a 170 acre Yamhill Webster orchard. Um, we have pollinizers of York and McDonald. Uh, we saw far more problems with the York and the McDonald. Webster and Yamhill definitely had the least percentage wise. Oh, you know, of the York, there's probably 10 to 20 percent. McDonald is probably more like 10 percent. And the Yamhill and Webster had, you know, one or two percent. Not bad. Yeah, that's pretty significant, though, under the circumstances. So that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> you can still train another sucker up and right. to replace it. Uh, thank you for taking the time. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.